Well, we've been looking at how to correct a chronic slice, but what about the minority of golfers that have a wild hook? In some ways, that can be as hard to control as a slice. Well, let's start by defining a hook. For a right-handed golfer, a hook is a shot that starts well to the right of the target, then curves wildly to the left. Well, what causes the ball to curve left? Well, it's the angle of the club face. If you're hooking the ball, it means when the club face at impact is closing, which imparts right to left side spin. So what part of your swing affects the angle of the club face? Well, it's your grip. Every golfer with a wild hook tends to grip the club with a strong grip, which means both hands are turned too far to the right. So once again, the correction is to set the palm of your right hand at the target at address, make sure your right thumb is off center to the left, and hold the club in the top three fingers of your left hand. So now that we've eliminated the curve, how do we get the ball to start straight at the target? If you're hooking the ball, it means you're standing too upright at address. In other words, in contrast to a slice, if you're slicing the ball, you're hunched over. If you're hooking the ball, you're standing too straight. This upright posture forces the arms to go around your body like a baseball bat. And you can see when I do this, as the club approaches the ball, the face naturally closes. So how do we correct the posture? Take the club off the ground, set the top part of your arms on your chest, and then slowly lower the club to the ground. As a checkpoint, make sure your shoulders are over your knees at address. Now we have the two steps that you need to correct your hook. Getting more distance is easy. Distance comes from a proper weight shift, so assuming your grip and posture are correct, now you want to focus on turning your back to the target in the backswing and your front to the target in the downswing. Thanks for watching. Please check out one of the other videos on the screen. Make sure you subscribe and feel free to leave some comments or if you'd like me to discuss further topics. I look forward to helping you take your game to a whole new level.